We have an update tonight on a crash that sent several people to the hospital after an accused drunk driver plowed into a crowded bar in Apache Junction. Fortunately, everyone survived, and tonight we're hearing from one of the victims. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly is live in Apache Junction with the story. Chase? Yeah, Mark, it's a night they'll never forget, and the person that we spoke to tonight told me that they are still recovering from it. He and his band were performing at the Elks Lodge when it all happened, and we actually obtained security camera footage of the moments that truck crashed right into the building. Now, I do want to warn our viewers, while we aren't going to show you the entirety of that security camera footage, what you are about to see is still disturbing. Despite what they went through less than a week ago, the music should never end. The Roadhouse Wranglers are back on stage in Apache Junction. While they've been playing for decades, this is the first time Sam Chun has had to sit and play. A fracture of my foot. All from a suspected drunk driver crashing into the Elks Lodge where they were playing. And all of a sudden, right behind me, I heard a blast like a bomb, just a big boom. And I looked over my shoulder. I saw the truck, this truck coming forward. He was plowing everybody over. Chun says he was knocked down as debris flew everywhere. I went to try to stand up and it didn't work. His foot was broken. Chun then looked around to see he wasn't the only one hurt. 30 people were injured and about 10 sent to the hospital. People Chun knows, including the suspected drunk driver, 73 year old Thomas Kane. I've known Tom for 30 years. Kane is facing several charges. And despite what Chun and so many went through, He's thankful no one was killed. I'm pretty down lucky. You know, I've been blessed. Hoping everyone else is doing okay too. Even the driver, police say, is responsible for the chaos. If I had a chance to talk to Tom, and I will, I will, I, I just, you know, I forgive him for whatever he did. And Chun told me he's incredibly grateful to the community that has shown so much support to him and all the others injured that night. He's also thankful for the first responders and all the help that they did in saving people. And he also said that the music doesn't stop. He plans on getting back on stage tomorrow night. We're live in Apache Junction. Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase